Another morning, another day. I've got to get ready for work. I have a lot to do today. I've got to go to the grocery store, deliver the mail, clean the apartment. Oh, I've also got to finish that assignment from last week. That'll take up most of my time today, but I should be able to see her in the hospital. Per the usual. Oh crap. I'm gonna be late if I don't hurry up. Damn. Hello again, Nurse Gretchen. Yes, it's me again. <laughs> I'd like to visit room 304, please. Okay, thank you. No, oh, Dr. Williams, is everything all right? Oh, good to see you again. No, there's no need to worry. I'm just performing my annual checkup. Whew, that's a relief. I... I didn't know you'd check up on her around this time. I would have come back later. No, don't worry about it. It'll only be another minute. Everything's looking good so far. Nothing to be concerned about. Well, that's good. You know, her case is quite unusual. Most people who succumb to comas only stay for a couple of days or weeks. However, she stayed in a coma for the last two years. We think her prolonged vegetative state is due to her head trauma she suffered in that accident. I see. Do you know if she's going to wake up? Unfortunately, we can never really tell when she'll wake up, or even if she'll wake up. The trauma was quite severe. You know she's very lucky to be alive. I see. I had a feeling you would say that. Anyways, thank you for taking care of us, Doctor. And thank the staff for me, too. They've all been amazing. I appreciate it. I'm sure the staff would appreciate it as well. Anyways, I'm just about done with my annual examinations. I'll leave you to be. Thank you so much, Doctor. Whew. Good thing everything's okay. I'm not gonna lie, though. I was a bit worried for you, but only for a minute. Anyways, how have you been lately? Nothing interesting happened to me today. Probably the usual. Actually, never mind. Now that I think about it, something did happen. Oscar got into a fight with one of those neighborhood cats. <laughs> Don't worry, he's okay. Just got a couple of scratches. He'll be out of commission for a bit, though. Oh, before I forget. Your friend wrote you a letter. It was delivered today. She wanted me to read it to you. Ahem. <clears throat> hey there, bestie. I hope everything's okay at the hospital. I just heard about what happened, and I'm really sorry. It's been a while since we've talked to each other. I wish I would have gotten the chance to do it earlier. I know. When you get well enough, I should come over. We can catch up. A lot's happened over the years. I'm really sorry I didn't have a chance to see you in person. I just didn't have the time. You know how it is. But I'm glad I met your boyfriend. He's a wonderful person. You're very lucky to have a person like him. I'm happy that he's taking care of you. Anyways, I hope you get well soon. I met your friend last week, whenever I went to visit my family. I met her before, but we really didn't know each other all that well. She's an incredibly nice person, and I can tell she really cares about you. We talked for a while whenever I was at my parents' house. She told me so much about you. I guess you two stopped talking after high school, which happened with me and my friends too. Anyways, it was nice seeing my family again, especially since my brother was there. <laughs> He's hilarious. 
You should meet him someday, whenever you get the chance. He comes back from vacation in Canada. Him and his girlfriend went up there for a couple of weeks. I'm glad he had fun, but... Canada wouldn't be my first choice for a vacation. They went skiing up there for a while, but... Uh, whoa. Oh. My... Oh my god, you're... You're awake! I... I can't believe it! You... You're actually awake! Hey, it's... it's me! How are you feeling? Do you feel okay? I should get the doctor right away. Where are you? You're in the hospital. You've been in the coma for the last two years. What? It, it's me. It's your boyfriend. Hang on, let me get the doctor. Here. She's awake. She seems to be okay. That's wonderful. I do need to make sure that she's okay. Afterwards, I need to ask a couple of questions. I want you to stay in the room with me, okay? Yeah, sure. Hello, miss. Can you tell me what your name is? Good. Do you know what country you're currently in? Okay. Now, can you tell me who this man is? Do you know his name? You don't? Do you know anything about him? Okay, I see. Sir, would you please step out of the room for a moment? Yeah. Sure. Now, I... She... she doesn't remember me. I always feared this would happen. I kept pushing it away, trying to stay positive, but... Now it's reality. Why? Why can't she remember me? Were all my efforts not enough? What did I do wrong? I... I should have been there before the accident. None of this would have happened if I'd been there. Is... is she okay? Unfortunately, she seems to have lost a lot of her memories. However, she will need to be questioned further. No. But... is everything okay with her? Will she be alright? Luckily, she's regained her ability to read and write. She can still speak, but it is a little difficult for her to form words into coherent sentences. So yes, after some rehabilitation, I believe she'll be able to return to normal life. Thank you. That's all that matters to me. As... as long as she's okay. Although, she might have suffered long-term consequences. Head trauma could lead to severe problems later on. Does... does she remember me? She, unfortunately, seems to have lost her memories of you and the people she knows. I see. That's... horrible. I'm sorry that this is the case. There's nothing we can do. But there is a chance that her memories will return. It's a possibility. Yeah. You may go in if you like. I'm going to schedule a full examination. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. You may want to contact her family and let them know she's awake. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, Doctor. Hey there. Is everything okay? That's good. I'm relieved you're finally out of the coma. Do you remember me? I see. Well, I'm your boyfriend. 
We met a couple of years ago. Three years, to be exact. For the past two years, you've been in a coma from a car accident. Ever since, I've tried to visit you every day, hoping you'd wake up. I wasn't there. But the people who were told me that the driver who crashed into you was acting reckless. I still hold in rage against them every single day, and I won't forgive them. But, at the very least, I'm glad to see you came out of it okay in the end. Sorry. I know it's weird, but the truth is... I care about you so very much. It's okay that you don't remember me. That doesn't make me love you any less. I'll take care of you for as long as you want me to. As long as you're okay, that's all that matters to me. Okay? I'm back. She's scheduled for a full examination tomorrow. Unfortunately, visiting hours are closing soon, so... Go home, get some rest, and come back tomorrow. Right, sorry. I lost track of time. I'll be back tomorrow, love. Get some rest, okay? Love you.